In the next few minutes, in just a really easily method, I'm going to show you how does the Google Pay works and what you can do inside the Google Payments. Google Pay Prior Assist Security. It is a really easily element. If you need to send money to someone, Google Pay lets you quickly transfer funds to friends and into family. Enter the amount tapped to send and set up some payment method, and they will receive the money instantly. Now, the Google Pay prior asset security, and it uses tokenization to, of course, help you, meaning your actual card number is never shut during the transactions. Plus, you can secure payments with biometric authentication like the fingerprints or use some face recognition. So, keeping your account safe even if your phone is lost or stolen. Now, to Google Pay works at million users, including the popular brands we can use this to pay with Walmart, Starbucks, McDonald's, and as well online platforms and apps like Airbnb, DoorDash, and so much more. Now, with the Google Play or the Google Wallet, you can simply use the payments to store all your important costs and keep all your finances secure. So here, what I need to do, of course, is to go directly into pay.google.com and set up some payment method. Inside the payment method, I can add my own credit or debit card, and we can see that here, I'm going to choose the option that says add a payment method. Now, inside the add payment method, it should be asking me for a credit or debit card, and locating if this one is a Visa, Mastercard, or any American Express. Once I have the option of the payment method, here you can see that here I have the payment method already been active. You can edit it if you wanted to, but I can just change the title. I can just change the card nickname. I can change if this one is debit, credit card to locate your payment method and much more. Now we have the descriptions and the services where you can see which are the paid monthly. Uh, once you have subscription services ethically, you can cancel elements here and you can see all of them canceled. All the activity you have done so far should be appearing here inside of this element where it says activity. So here it says Google Pay, Google Pay, and much more. Now the addresses can be helping you to manage all the addresses of yourself, of your credit card, and the legal addresses. And you can add a new address here if you want to or if you need to add one of those. And lastly, these are the settings. Now the settings inside the payment of the Googles, we can check out the payment profile ID, the country region, the individual typed, the name, the address, all of this information, of course, has been blurred for security reasons, but this is how we can actually use a really easily solution of the Google payment section. Now, what I can tell is just do, just in case you have a question, you have an emergency or something related to stolen places, you have the payments profile ID, that this can be, of course, helping you to provide the formerly billing ID. This is a unique number they use to identify the legal entity responsible for the bills associated with the payments account. So this legal entity is going to be really important to keep it safe just in case you no longer have access to your Google account, your Gmail account or whatever. So if you find this payment profile ID, try to copy and paste it into your phone number, into a library, into another notebook, whatever, but try to save this um, as much as you can possibly can. Something else that you can find out here in the Google is the security stuff. You can learn more about security, about the products, about family, about phishing, about business, and much more just by clicking the directly into the Google Pay. For example, how you can order some free stickers, how we can actually use the customers to accept the Google Pay, how you can get started online, how you can get started with your own business, how we have the business uh, better for businesses, easier for the people, how we can check out the faster stuff, the safer payments, the partnerships, how you can get started with the funnels, and much, much more, of course, for businesses and more elements. So guys, I have just told you how to use the Google Pay, you have the Google Wallet elements. So hopefully this was a very useful information for you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. And well, you have once again a safe really solution here inside the Google Pay. So take your time to add your credits, your debit card directly in here and make your life seamlessly and easier with the Google Pay. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and hopefully we can all see you next time.